Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to see so many people gathered here for this important and historic moment. Allow me first to acknowledge that we are on the ancestral land of the Algonquin people. Et merci, Minister Bennett, pour cette introduction. Depuis des années, Carolyn est non seulement une alliée, mais une défenseuse des peuples des Premières Nations, des Inuits et de la Nation des Métis. En tant que ministre des Affaires autochtones et du Nord, elle travaille très fort pour promouvoir un pays plus égal et plus juste pour tous. Donc merci, Carolyn, pour tout ton travail. Je veux aussi remercier le chef national Bellegarde, président Obed, le président Chartier et tous les représentants autochtones qui nous sont, sont ici avec nous aujourd'hui. And finally, thanks to the many parliamentarians who join us today, including our own Indigenous caucus and community leaders who have joined us today for this very special celebration. Friends, for the last two decades, June 21st has been referred to as National Aboriginal Day. But as of next year, that will change. In the spirit of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, we are pleased to announce that National Aboriginal Day will be officially renamed National Indigenous Peoples Day. As you know, as you hopefully know, this year marks Canada 150. Millions of us will be celebrating with our friends, with our families, with our communities. But part of our responsibility as Canadians is to understand that not everyone will be celebrating. And in the spirit of reconciliation, it is important to understand why. That is the spirit that brings us together here today. For too long, First Nations, Inuit, and the Métis Nation have been ignored in the decision-making of this country while having their rights denied. My friends, that is changing. Lorsque nous avons été élus, j'ai été très clair sur le point qu'aucune relation n'était plus importante pour nous, pour le Canada, que celle que nous entretenons avec les peuples autochtones. Et nous étions sérieux. Nous comprenons qu'afin de bâtir une relation renouvelée, nous devons faire les choses différemment. Nous avons pris des engagements concrets qui renforceront nos communautés autochtones à travers le pays, augmenteront les débouchés économiques et avanceront le processus de réconciliation. Par exemple, nous avons levé 20 avis d'ébullition de l'eau à long terme dans les réserves parce que chaque Canadien mérite d'avoir de l'accès à l'eau potable. We're investing in health care, including in the area of mental health, as we work towards closing the gap in health outcomes between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Canadians. We've built or upgraded 129 schools and supported the creation of a new First Nations school board designed and operated by Manitoba First Nations. Over 3,300 housing units have been built, renovated, or retrofitted. We're working to preserve Indigenous languages and culture, and we are collaborating on climate change. But as each and every one of us here today can attest, there is always much more work to be done. There are always ways in which we need to do more. It took 400 years to create these problems. They will take time to solve. And so, as part of our ongoing efforts to create a nation-to-nation 
Inuit crown and government to government relationship, I am proud to announce the conversion of this space behind me, 100 Wellington, into a space for indigenous peoples. Dans le cadre de nos efforts visant à nouer une relation de nation à nation entre les Inuits et la Couronne et de gouvernement à gouvernement, je suis fier d'annoncer que cet espace situé au Saint Wellington sera converti en un espace pour les Autochtones. Un espace que les Premières Nations, les Inuits et la Nation Miti seront appelés à imaginer, à planifier, à construire en partenariat avec AANC et avec SPAC. This is your space. We want you to decide how best to use it in order to serve your communities. Until now, there hasn't been a space within our parliamentary precinct dedicated to and for indigenous peoples. That changes today. It is our hope that this historic building will be a powerful symbol of the foundational role of Indigenous peoples in Canada's history, as well as our close relationship towards our shared future. Look at where we are. Across from the Peace Tower, in front of the eternal flame, at the very heart of our country's seat of government. Think about it. Tourists from every corner of the world will come here, see this building, and reflect on what Canada has done, but reflect also, I hope, on the role that they have in their home country around advancing the rights and recognition of Indigenous peoples around the world. Think about it. Millions of Canadians and their families will visit this parliamentary hill and see that indeed no relationship is more important to this government than that with Indigenous peoples. And think about it. Every single person who works in this place MPs, senators, civil servants, staff, visitors come to deliver testimony, and talk about how to build a better future. Every single person who comes to this place will walk in front of a concrete reminder that at the heart of every decision we take in this place, we must remember our partnership and that the path forward goes hand in hand with the indigenous peoples of this land. First Nation, Inuit, and the Métis Nation indigenous peoples will shape and imagine this place as they see fit into a place where non-Indigenous people can, in the spirit of reconciliation, learn about the significant role that Indigenous peoples have played in our past and will continue to play in the centuries that lie ahead. For the millions of Canadians who descended from settlers or who are newcomers yourselves, I say this. We hope that this place, in the heart of our capital, will serve as a permanent reminder that Indigenous peoples are at the very heart of this great land. That Indigenous peoples are a vital part of our history, our present, and most importantly, our future. We are determined to build that future together. L'annonce aujourd'hui représente une première étape en vue de créer des espaces 
qui répondent aux besoins et aux désirs des peuples autochtones. À l'avenir, nous travaillerons de près avec les aînés, les femmes, les jeunes, les communautés, les gouvernements et les représentants des organisations des Premières Nations, des Inuits et de la Nation Métis pour assurer que cet édifice réponde à vos besoins. Et mes amis, j'ai une dernière annonce à faire. For generations, that building beside us that houses the Prime Minister and his or her staff has been referred to as Langevin Block. And we've heard from you, from the TRC, and from many Indigenous communities over the past year that there is a deep pain in knowing that that building carries a name so closely associated with the horror of residential schools. Keeping that name on the Prime Minister's office is inconsistent with the values of our government, and it's inconsistent with our vision of a strong partnership with Indigenous peoples in Canada. And so, we will remove this name, and what was once Langevin Bois will now officially and practically become the office of the Prime Minister and the Privy Council. As we use Canada 150 as an opportunity to reflect on both our successes and our failures, may we chart a course for a brighter, more inclusive future, a future in which we see the promise of a true nation to nation, Inuit to crown, and government to government relationship. This is a tremendous day for all Canadians indigenous and non-indigenous alike. Thank you all very much for being here. Merci beaucoup. Miigwech, Masicho, Gaila Kasla. Merci, merci, merci. Merci. Thank you, Prime Minister, for your